Okay, Loudness EZO, House of 1000 Pleasures. This is for uh, for you, Tony Farkas. Uh, custom tabs and lesson. You want to tune flat for this. Um, things that Akira Takasaki is using is, he's got a whammy bar, which I don't, but I have it tabbed out and I'll explain it as if I had one. And there's a Wawa pedal throughout some of it. Um, so, a lot of stuff here, man. A lot of solo stuff. Um, when it gets into the whammy stuff, it's something that Akira wouldn't play exactly the same each time, so you just do your best with the whammy parts. But um, let me come in here. And I don't know if you have a Wawa pedal, Tony. It's not critical, you know, but he is using it in here. Matter of fact, on the beginning, um, the way it starts, you're going to be on fret 14 on the G, and you're going to pick that. And I think the Wawa's in there. He's just vibratoing it for a while. Okay, we have, and I have all this stuff subgrouped too. So you'll have the uh, the slide. You'll see the parentheses around the third fret, Tony. And that that's just telling you it's a start point for your slide. You don't really hear the three. Um, it'll slide up to 18 and then you slide back. So it's not a big deal, but I like to show all these little things. Okay, and then the main riff here, which is a killer groove, and he does lots of variations. I captured them um, pretty much the way he's doing them. Um, and like I said, even this part, the little changes that you'll see um, would be different live. I can almost guarantee it. Sometimes he's hitting two notes, sometimes he's hitting one. So here's what we got. So that's, um, you got to experiment with fingers. I'm uh, pretty comfortable going middle on the 2E and third finger on the D, but um, experiment with that. You'll have palm mutes on some of it. Slow it down, we have. You'll see a one fourth fraction with an arrow, that's a quarter step bend, then you rest over here. Double dots, so we're gonna repeat that. And then here's the thing, the next one, He's hitting two strings, he's going. And he holds the rest a little longer before resting completely on it. That one, um, I'm barring. You may want to use two fingers when you do the second fret on the D and G. Okay? So that's what I mean by the little things. Okay? break that part down for you. Uh, first fret on the E, low E, you're gonna slide it to three. And then play the octave, which would be five D. Two palm mutes on the third fret E. Hit that five D again. Two palm mutes on the third fret E. Five D again. So that little chunk. But you got this little octave thing after it, which is. And that would be 5E, 7D. Then do that a half step higher. So go 6E, 8D. Back to um, 5E, 7D. So it's A octaves, A sharp octaves, A octave, and then 3G, 5D. And now that 5D, actually your octave notes, he's kind of putting some pinch harmonics on it. Not critical, but it'd be like. Sounds cool, Akira did a lot with pinch harmonics. So, I put them on there, that's the diamond with the P in it. Diamond symbolizes harmonic. P for uh, pinch, because we have natural harmonics and pinch. Um, so that wraps up section one. Section two is a variation, and this is what I was talking about earlier on. If you want, you could just keep it as section one, but I'm, um, I kind of wanted to just keep it true to the actual version that, that um, you sent me. Okay, so section two is this. So he'll do a single, a double, and then a double with the quarter step bend. Okay, so. And then the next one is two singles and then a double. Without the bend. The next one is um, a double and then two singles. So that's what I mean. 
Tony about that. It's, uh, it's not a critical thing, and if it's too much for you to memorize that way, just keep it like section one. But I did give you that because I wanted you to have that option. Um, and the, to trail out uh, section two here, you have really cool total Akira style thing where he goes. Okay. And that's open E, 3A, or open E, 3E. He plays basically power chord notes here. Fifth fret A with that pinch. And then open 5, 7. The 7 will be on the A string. Open 6, E, 8A, and then open E, 5E, and then 7A pinch, and then slide. So that part sounds like this. Okay, then you go back to section 1 three times. This is all notated in the tabs. And then section 3, here we have another variation, but this one's pretty cool because he does a change up on the chord. So this one will go single, single, single. And then this is a little altered version. Then you got the second fret on the D and G, two palm muted uh, second frets on the E, and then the second fret D and G, and then this part where he'll go. So it's my bad. I call that the Lynch chord. That'll be 2-2 two, two, D and G, and then 1-2 two, D and G. And he actually has the whammy bar there on this. You just do that with it. And then we have kind of a repeat of that. Up to tempo, that's just the... It's like the first one in section one minus the quarter step band. And then what do we have here in the next part? We've got uh, one sliding to three on the E. And that's like a part from something earlier. This is uh, halfway through section three. So you'll recognize that from earlier. Uh, that wraps up section three. Then we go back to section one, one time. And then we got section four, and this is where it starts to change up a little bit. Let me play through it. Okay, I'll break that down a little slower for you. Not too crazy, just a memorization thing. Open E, 2A, and then three palm muted open E's. And then we hit an E power chord and an F sharp power chord. So open two, two, four. And then you stay there, there's a rest, and then we got uh, palm muting in groups of threes. And it'll be one, two, three, four times, almost five. And then here's the last one two times on it, and then an open E to A, and then four open E's palm muted, and then uh, five, seven, three, five on the A and D, so, again, okay, and then that rings, and then you go palm muted on the three A, five D once, and then three, 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 but only palm mute the first two here. And then back to this part. Okay, so that's a repeat. And then back to this. So those change ups are just five, seven, three, five, A and D. And then three, five, open two on the A and D. And then open two, five, seven on the A and D. And then we got this very first part of the song, the slide. Okay, then you're back to the next little chunk here is section one, no star. You'll see that it's notated in the tab book. And then section one, no star one. You'll see both those, a star and a star one. It's my version of, you know, just the beats and tabs. 
The next thing that comes up is section five with the wah wah pedal. It's only for a short part here. Um, it's fourth fret G and B. I would take the third finger. Um, if that's too weird and it slips because we're going to have to bend it and release it, you can always go two fingers. The problem with that, Tony, is sometimes when you use two fingers, one will separate and bend a little further than the other and you want them to bend evenly. So um, try to grab them with barring it like that. You can cram a couple fingers behind it. If it's too crazy, then go ahead and, and use the two fingers on it. So here's what we got. Okay. And then you'll see a vibrato at the end. It's trickier than it looks. Sometimes the simple things are the difficult ones. Okay, then uh, uh, we have this part here, which is uh, a repeat of something in another section. Or similar to. Okay, we have that. So that wraps up section five. Then the next thing you come across is section one. No double dots. So in other words, you're not going to be repeating it. And then... Actually, you'll see those double dots. You, you cut that out because Akira throws in the Wawa pedal and does this. Okay, so it's open D, 2D, and you just keep running it through um, four times approximately and then slowly push the Wawa pedal down as you're doing it. So you have the Wawa pedal back like this, and as you're going, it opens it up, brings in more trouble. Then you're back to... Uh, Section four one time, section one two times, then we turn over to the next page here, and uh, this is page five so far. This part's really cool right here, and I'll show you what he's doing. It goes like this. Make sure I don't have the wobble pedal up. No, no. Whammy's down on that. me down play that a little slower for you it's not too tricky once you get used to the most of it has one or two palm mutes in between it not all of it but two and four E and D Those are octave notes octave note there two palm mutes on the two two D I like to catch that as a bar I'll just do a finger shift two more palm muted second fret E strings four A 2E twice. See, that's where those palm mutes are coming in. So. And then 3A. And then one palm muted second fret E string. Okay, so up to there. It's. And then 2A, pull off to open. You're going to do that twice. So now we have. And kind of starts it over, but not complete. That's what you'll see. I wrote whammy with the arrow going down, just means push the whammy bar down. Play that section one more time. That's section six. Okay, and then this this is the first solo. And um, you're gonna whammy up. In other words, we need second fret on the D and G. I would just bar it. And, but have the, the whammy going up, and he's just kind of like up and down and up and down. That type of vibe. That's uh, subgroup riff number one for the solo, by the way. Some of them are real small, some of them aren't. The next little piece is uh, um, riff number two in the solo. Or, You'll see that. So we have 4D pull off to 2, 4A, pinch harmonic 2D, and then hammer to 4. That's uh, riff number 2. Riff number 3 goes like this. Slow down. It's uh, on the G string. You go picked 4, hammer 5, pull to 4, pull to 2. So you got a double pull off on the end there. Pick. And then 
then pick the 4G vibrato. Kind of a lint style riff. Then the next one is similar, but he doesn't pick the four at the end. So it's you're picking the initial one. Fourth fret, hammer five, pull four, pull two, hammer four, vibrato. That's riff number four. And then riff five is real easy. It's just three notes. Two, four, five on the G vibrato. Okay, riff number six is. And I notated it in the tabs. Use your middle finger because it's going to set you up for the next part. Slide it to 18. And then go 17E, 17B. And then 20B vibrato. Okay. That is riff number six. So riff number seven goes. Actually, you only have to vibrato it. 17E, 20B. 19G bend, a whole step. 17 and 20 on the B. So, I keep wanting to vibrato that. He's not, though. That's riff seven. Riff eight. And keep in mind, Tony, we got two solos. This is a shorter one. 19G, whole step bend. 17B. And then go 20, 19, 17 on the G. And then 18, 19. And then 17G, vibrato. So, oops. That's your last four notes there. Oops. That's number eight. So, number nine is a five note little riff that he's doing, and that is this. Or, let's see. Uh, I would uh, take the third finger and shift it up. And then 17, 19, 17 on the D. My brother. I wouldn't make two fingers do that, you know what I mean? You don't really want to go. You can if it happens for you that way, but this is how it's working here for me. Okay, that's riff nine. Riff ten kind of turns in the afterburners here. He goes, and that's 14 G. You're gonna pick, hammer to 17, pull off to 14, and then 17 D. That's five times. So, that's that one, but practice them slow, you know. Take your index, mute the D in case it accidentally rings, that'll uh, it'll save you. And purposely kind of angle that index in case the B gets accidentally picked, that'll be muted as well. So we're covering above and below the target note. And uh, I like to pick stuff like that. I start with an upstroke and end with a down. You know, you don't have to. You can, you can do down on all of it. Just experiment with the picking in that one. That's riff 10. Riff 11 goes, this is actually really cool, he goes. And I did write the picking in that one because it's really important. 14 G, hammer to 17. Upstroke the 14 high E. 17 pull to 14 on the G and hammer back to 17. So it's, and then upstroke the 14 E. So you have, that's riff 11. And then riff 12. Okay, that'll be. That's 12. 13 is. All right, slow down. 17 G. And then 14 G, you're gonna hammer 17, pull to 14. 17D, 14G, 17D, so, and then riff 14 is 14, 17, 14 on the D string now, 
and then 17A. And then go 14, 17, D, and A. So it's... Okay, and then riff 15. You're going to go 15, 17, 15 on the A. 17E, 15A. 17, pull to 15, hammer to 17. And then pick the 17 and bend vibrato. 